Welcome everybody, super excited to move on to the cloud adoption framework by AWS. I'm going to talk about in this video, in this lecture, what is AWS CAF and more importantly, how does it actually work? What does it entail, right? So everything that you need to know about AWS CAF coming right at you in this video. So let's dive right in and check it out. So your approach to security is basically and risk management and compliance can be an enabler to digital transformation and business agility. So that's more as more organizations progress right towards digital transformation journey empowered by cloud computing security organizations and processes they cannot simply participate right they must basically go through that transformation. So today many clients or customers they establish security foundations using technology agnostic risk management frameworks such as the NIST right National Institute of Standards and Technology that's what they use or they use the cybersecurity framework CSF to really understand their organization's current capabilities set goals and then develop plans to improve and maintain security posture right but you still need the right model to optimize security outcomes in the cloud so to help you adapt the security program, AWS has developed two tools, right? AWS Cloud Adoption Framework that I'm going to talk about right here. And then the other one is, of course, AWS Well-Architected Framework. You can check it out in my other lecture. So I'm going to focus right here moving forward on AWS CAF and how does it work. So let's dive right in and take a look how it works, right? So by complementing your risk-based foundation with the AWS CAF, you can integrate your organization, business drivers, and scale as you move to the cloud. And when you're ready to implement specific workloads, right? You can use the AWS CAF or well-architected framework to design, measure, and improve your technical implementation. So basically, the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework, or known as the AWS CAF, it leverages the AWS experience and best practices to help you digitally transform and accelerate your business outcomes through innovative use of AWS. So, AWS CAF basically identifies a specific organizational capabilities that underpin successful cloud transformation. Now, these capabilities provide best practices, guidance that helps you improve the cloud readiness. AWS CAF groups these capabilities in six capabilities right business people governance platform security and operations now each perspective comprises of set of capabilities that functionally relate you know stakeholders to own or manage cloud transformation journey now we can use the aws caf to identify and prioritize the transformation opportunities evaluate and improve your cloud readiness and iteratively involve you know the transformation roadmap now, the AWS Cloud Adoption Framework, or CAF, it basically helps the organizations plan for a successful cloud migration. And not just the technical aspects of a single application moving from you know, hybrid to the cloud, right? But the intent is to establish organizational foundations to facilitate deploying, operating, and securing workloads at scale. Now, this may include you know, establishing DevSecOps culture and processes, training your staff or incorporating new paradigms into your assignments right or tasks so building shared cloud infrastructure and management you know environments implementing central governance for example and uh, another aspect is to integrate individual applications and use cases now each organizational path will certainly be di different right so plan ahead and then connect your business goals and desired security outcomes to the right processes and technologies. So if you are a solutions architect, for example, or a DevOps engineer, or even wanting to get into AWS, right? So let's dive deeper into some of these you know, perspectives and CAF. All right, so how does it work, right? First, you envision, right? That is to identify and prioritize transformational opportunities in line with your strategic objectives which is associating you know with your transformation initiatives with key stakeholders and measurable business outcomes 
will help you demonstrate value as you progress through your transformation journey. Second, right, what you do is you align, which basically is to identify capability gaps and you know cross organizational dependencies now doing so will help you create strategies for improving your cloud readiness and ensure stakeholders alignment as well and also facilitate relevant organizational change management activities now third you basically launch which means you deliver pilots right in production and demonstrate incremental business value now pilots should be highly impactful you know and how successful and the influence in future direction. So learning from these pilots, right, will adjust your approach moving forward before scaling to full production. And fourth, last is the scale. What you do is you scale, which means you, you know, basically expand these pilots, you know, business value and ensure that the business benefits associated with your cloud investments are realized, right, and sustained also. Now, since AWS CF groups these capabilities into six perspective, right? Business, people, governance, platform, security, and operations. I've highlighted those, right? So let's explore what these are and why they're important, right? To effectively leverage cloud to digitally transform your cloud readiness. It's basically underpinned by these foundations, right? Your organizational capabilities. So the AWS CAF identifies these capabilities and then provides prescriptive guidance, right? to many, many organizations across the world, right, that have successfully used to accelerate their cloud transformation journeys. So, let's take a look at the first AWS CAF perspective, which is, you got it, business, right? Now, business perspective helps ensure that your cloud investments accelerate your digital transformation ambitions and basically business outcomes. So, common stakeholders basically such as CEOs, you know, senior management, CFOs, for example, could be chief operations officer, right? Or maybe chief information officer, all these high level stakeholders, right? Such as CTOs, for example, right? You know, and that's really what we need in the first perspective. Second perspective is people. Now this is a bridge between technology and business. So accelerating in the cloud journey, help organizations more rapidly evolve the culture of continuous growth, learning, and of course, this is where change becomes business as normal. So you focus on culture, organizational culture, leadership, and of course, workforce. Common stakeholders, by the way, also in this scenario includes CIO, CTO, maybe a cloud director, maybe engineering managers, or again, senior management. Now, the third perspective moving forward is governance. Now, this perspective helps you orchestrate your cloud initiatives while maximizing organizational benefits and minimizing transformation related risks. Now, common stakeholders in this particular perspective include, you know, CIO, CTO, could be CFO, could be chief data officer, right? You know, again, people related to this perspective. Now, the fourth perspective is platform. Now, platform perspective helps you build an enterprise-grade, scalable, hybrid cloud platform to basically modernizing existing workloads and implement new cloud-native solutions. Now, common people that are involved in this perspective are CTO, like technology leaders like architects, solutions architects, DevOps engineers, and, you know, the other next perspective is security. And this helps you achieve the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your data, which is very, very important. Now, within the security perspective, right, we have chief security officer, right, for example, or CISO, chief information security officer, compliance officers, you know, internal audit leaders, and so on, right? And last but not least, the sixth perspective is operations. Now, the operations perspective helps ensure that your cloud services are delivered at a level that meets the need of your business. Now, in this particular um, you know, perspective, you have such as site reliability engineers, SREs, that are part of this perspective, right? And information technology service managers. That's how it is. So, cloud transformation journey is, of course, different from each company to company, right? Now, you'll need to envision your own desired target state, understand your cloud readiness, and then adopt an agile approach in closing these gaps.
Now, transforming incrementally definitely will allow you to demonstrate value quickly, at the same time minimizing you know, need for you know, over-predicting. Now, adopting an iterative approach is certainly, certainly beneficial, right? And of course, as you evolve your roadmap, you learn from your experience. The AWS CAF recommends four um, iterative cloud transformation phases, right? And I talked about that, right? Envision, for example, which focuses on you know, helping you accelerate your business outcomes, right? And then you have a line, you have um, you know, other, for example, like opportunities across each of these four transformation domains that I've already highlighted. And these are important, you know, and that's really what helps you grow your organization and make sure your business goals are aligned. So senior individuals capable of, uh, you know, driving change and measurable business outcomes, they'll help demonstrate value as you progress through your transformation journey. And similarly, like I mentioned earlier, Align also you know, defines the capability gaps, it fills these gaps between all these perspective, identifying cross organizational dependencies, right? And these are basically aligning. And then of course, once you align, then you're ready to scale or do some pilots, right? So you start small, you do the small incremental changes, you demonstrate value to the organization or all these you know, senior management or stakeholders. And of course, you launch um, after you know, uh, you're done with the piloting and then of course you scale, right? So that's really, really the vision of CAF and that's exactly how it works. So let's conclude and summarize. So technological innovations continues to accelerate the need for continuous digital transformation and it will become more you know, pressing as time progresses. So the AWS CAF leverages AWS experience best practices to help you accelerate your business outcomes through innovative use of AWS tools and services. So we can use the AWS CAF to identify and prioritize transformation opportunities right across the organization, evaluate and then improve your cloud readiness. And of course, iteratively, you know, evolve your transformational roadmap. That's what AWS CAF is all about. So super, super exciting, very powerful. Let me know if you have any questions, post in the discussion area, and I will see you in the next lecture.